Hello, everyone. Okay, so when you format numbers in a minimum field width, and the number you are trying to display in a minimum field width is shorter than the minimum field width itself, you can pad zeros. In, this, in the space that is created in front of the number you're displaying in a minimum field width, you can pad zeros in front of it, and you don't have to type it manually. So this is what I mean. I'm going to create a double value. I'm going to call it number, set it equal to, say, 34.565. All right. Um, actually, let's just change the number a little bit. Let's just make it a bit complex here. All right. So this is just a random number I came up with. I'm going to call the system that out dot print f method. And the system that out dot print f takes in a couple of arguments. The first argument is how you want a certain value formatted. It goes in a format string with format specifiers embedded in, embedded in it. We'll come back to that in a second. And the second argument is what you want to format. In this case, we want to format the value in number. So we want number to be formatted as a floating point value. So I'm going to type in percentage %f. All format specifiers okay, in our entire format string, they all start with the percentage sign. And this f is just saying that we want to format this number as a floating point value. OK, so in between our percentage and our f, I'm going to specify the position. I'm going to format this value to two decimal places. I'm going to type in 0.2. If I wanted to format it to, let's say, four decimal places, I'll type in 0 0.4. But because I wanted to format it to two decimal places, I'll type in 0 0.2. Okay. I'm also going to introduce a flag here. And we know flags come first. Okay. In our percentage and our F, flags come first before anything else. So they come first before anything else. So I'm going to type in a comma here. And it's going to automatically insert commas where necessary. So let's compile this and see where, where it's at so far. And we can see that it's been formatted to two decimal places where commas you know, inserted automatically where necessary. All right, I'm going to also format this value in a space, okay, in a minimum field width, okay, of say 20 spaces, okay? So we know that in between our percentage and our F, uh, flags come first, right? A comma is a flag here. And when you are specifying the uh, minimum field width, it comes before the position. So I'm going to specify before the position after um, our comma here. So I'm going to type in 20. Okay, I'm I will want to display this value in a minimum field width of, oh, that, that is 20 spaces wide. Compile this and I'm going to run. By default, when the value you're displaying in a minimum field width, you can see over here, this number is being displayed in a minimum field width of 20 characters or 20 spaces. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. By default, when the number you are displaying in the minimum field width is less in terms of characters than the minimum field width itself, we can see this number here has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 characters, and it's being displayed in a you know, width or in a field of 20 characters wide. When this number is small in terms of characters, it's displayed right justified, okay, right justified. And because of that, there's this, this space here in front of it. Sometimes in your programs, you may want to have leading zeros in front of it. And if you want that, you can just insert the, the number zero in front of your minimum field width like this. Okay, it's a flag, it's a flag as well. And we know flags come first before anything else in our, uh, you know, in our format string. We know commas are, uh, uh, commas are flag and zeros are flag as well. This will pad leading zeros in front of your value. So when I compile this and I run, we can see that all leading zeros has been padded automatically to fill that space. And sometimes you may want it in your program. All right. If you have any questions, uh, please comment down below, and I'll do everything to respond to them. Thank you very much for watching. Take care of yourselves, and I'll see you next time in the next video. All right, then. Bye-bye.